in order to deal with the surface like too dark, transparent like glass or acrylic, or very reflective like a screen, like your phone or a computer, then you need to scan spray the surface first before you scan it. And here is something you can choose from. First is this, I strongly recommend AE Sub Professional Scan Spray. It is very good and you can find it in our website. We didn't make it, it's a German company. So if you want more information, you can go check their website. So what you do is you just shake it and you scan spray the surface. And as you can see, the scan is very smooth and even. It's not very thick so that it won't affect your scan result. It won't change the form of the object. But it is kind of uh, smelly. So you don't really want to do it in, uh, for example, not ventilated indoor environment and better to wear a, a mask before you, you're doing the spray. And also here is something I also recommend is homemade scan spray. First is my favorite is a baby powder. So you can use a baby powder to apply it. And of course, it's not as good as AE Sub because look, it has a lot of residues. You will need to blow it off with your mouth or something else. But it smells fine, okay? And it's cheaper. And uh, AE Sub, this is a professional scan spray that evaporates itself. It varies in different colors of the cap, which means it evaporates in different time, like four hours, 30 minutes, or 12 hours. But for those homemade uh, scan sprays, you might need to clean it after you have finished scanning because it won't evaporate itself. Now, let me show you how I can scan this tire. I just scan spray. But by the way, this is the large turntable. It does not come with your Morocco packaging, but it's very handy when scanning something very big and heavy and it wanted to turn itself instead of you go around it. Okay, now the settings, I choose far mode, and if you feel it's still too dark, you can choose this, dark object types. It'll help you to capture more clearly.